and I'm the owner of Beach Babe Soaps. Today we are making unscented French green clay soap. It's going to be a natural soap. I'm not adding any dyes, colorants, fragrances, nothing. Just very basic, basic soap. This is going to be one of my standard soaps uh, on the website. And yep, yeah, uh, that's that's uh, pretty much it. I don't, I don't have anything else for my introduction, so let's get started. I've already melted down my oils and they're cooling down now, just about room temperature. I have my lye sitting over here. My French green clay is in the oils already and I'm going to whirl this together. For those of you interested in soap making, please check out the blog links below in the description box. There's great resources. Um, they're absolutely wonderful blogs to follow along and learn how to make soap if you'd like to do this for yourself. If not, you can always jump over to my website and buy these handmade soaps that you see here. So, anyways, let's get started. <laughs> French green clay is really good for your skin. I've done a lot of research on it. I'm, a, I'm really excited to use this. So now that this is put... Uh, now that the French green clay is now mixed up in the oils, we're going to add our light water. Now we're going to mix this together on the low until it becomes kind of thick. Since it's, we're not adding any colorants, we're not doing any drop swirls, we're not doing anything other than just pouring it right into our mold. So we just kind of speed this along. starting to thicken up pretty good just kind of doing a quick video today I resized my recipe and I'm curious to see how it fits in the mold I know it's gonna fit I use a program called soap maker 3 it's an absolutely wonderful program let me tell you it saves me a load of time and aggravation and I know at a glance that what supplies I have and what I need to purchase if you're a soap market maker if you're a soap maker please check it out I'll leave the, I'll leave the link down below Now I'm trying to get this to a medium to thick trace because I want to texture the top pretty quickly. I don't want to have to sit here for you know another 10-15 minutes while it thicken ups, thicken ups enough so I can do a little pretty texture. I tell you what we've had some wonderful days lately the weather down here in Florida has just been unbelievable I think it's been a normal high for Florida which is typically about 75 to 80 degrees during the day but in the in the winter time we really don't have much humidity and that's where the heat is and the intensity and in heat that's starting to thicken up pretty good. <laughs> Whoop, a couple of air bubbles down there. <laughs> I really 
enjoy this particular stick blender. My other one was so strong that it would suck the bottom or suck the, the blade part of the stick blender all the way down to the bottom of the, the pot and I couldn't lift it. I was so I was always afraid to lift it because I'd lift it too hard and it'll splatter and just be a huge mess. But with this, I knew, oh, there goes some air bubbles again. But with this, I can actually move around. Okay, this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna clean this off as much as possible. Sometimes I don't do this and I know people are screaming, clean your stick blender, save the soap. Gotta save the soap. Save as much as possible. That's thickening up pretty good. Give this a good stir. Make sure everything's mixed in from the bottom. Scrape the sides down. And let's pour into the mold. Let's go ahead and stop there. Tap this down just a bit. Oops. Just like with the stick blender, we have to scrape down the sides of our bowl. up just a tad. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'll bring you guys back when I get ready to texture this soap. Oh, isn't that a fun little texture? All right. Now we're going to top this side here with some Himalayan salt, pink Himalayan salt. Isn't that just adorable? I think it's going to be a good contrast with the green. And it did turn a lovely green, didn't it? So we're just going to sprinkle this. Oh, this is exactly how I was hoping it was going to turn out. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited that it's turning out really well. It's a little tricky trying to get it just on the one side. There we go, that should be good. Oh, looks like one made it to the other side. Let's try to get that out of there. Come on, get him. Thank you. All right. Wipe my finger off and I'll give you guys a really good close up.
There you go. Let's see if I can get the other side. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. I know everyone's thinking that. Because I was thinking that. Alright. There you have it.